five seconds. That's how long someone will spend reading your website's written content. Does your website hook people in that time? If not, then you've got a problem. And it's a problem because you're losing customers every single day. In this video, I'm gonna show you the three pillars of what it takes to create an amazing homepage for your website. Each of these pillars is important and missing one of them could spell disaster for your website and your business. And the best bit about all of this is that anyone can implement it on their own website, even if you've no website design skills. Hi, my name is Helen and I help business owners like you build amazing websites that convert viewers into customers, but I really need your help. So I'm really getting really close to 100 subscribers. So if you're interested at all in the content that I make, then please subscribe to my channel. You'd be doing me a great favor. So what's our first pillar then? This, when implemented successfully, has the power to convince someone that you have what they need. You know, when we're at school or university, we're taught how to write. We're taught how to write a sentence and how to write a basic story. But the thing is the website content, the words that we write on our website, it's not that kind of writing. Our homes page specifically, it's not about providing information. It's about trying to drive action. We want our customers to book our services or buy our products. And through using the right language, we can encourage them to do that. And this comes down to knowing your audience and picking a group of audience that you want to work with and not trying to solve lots of problems for lots of different people. You're going to end up converting hardly any of them because your language doesn't speak to anyone in particular. But won't that limit the amount of people that I can work with? Believe me, working with a small subset of people is far easier than trying to work with lots and lots of different people. So if you target one group of your customers and you talk their language, they feel like you're speaking directly to them, then they're far more likely to seek out your services and work with you. Okay, so how do we do that then? So I'm gonna create this website for a fictional dietitian. This dietitian is called Amy and she's taken my advice and she's decided to niche down and work with a small group of customers. Through doing some research, she's found out that the biggest problem that these customers have is sorting through the vast amount of information that's available and knowing what actually applies to them and what doesn't. So taking that into account, let's create her home page for her. We're gonna start with this top page, section of the page which is called our hero area, also known as above the fold. And remember, this is the point that most people are probably gonna leave your website. So it needs to be simple and you need to get your message across with as few words as possible. An example might be something like, helping you make more informed decisions about food, enjoy life without type two diabetes holding you back. We're gonna move down to the next section in, and this is where we're going to display the list of services that help our clients reach their goals. So for our dietitian, she's going to provide three services. She's going to provide tasty recipes. She's going to provide one-to-one -one consultations and she's going to provide a community. So you want to have a title and a small bit of text for each of these sections. Don't worry about the images for now. This next section is about using social proof to develop trust, which is known to increase website conversions. If you don't have any reviews yet, then do everything you can to get some. Even provide some free advice to someone or give away an ebook and ask for some comments and feedback. We're going to move on to this about us section. And yes, you might think that the about us section is where you will write about you, but you'd be wrong. Yes, you want to let your customers know a little bit about you, but in a way that's relevant to them. Let's see an example then. Hi, I'm Helen. I have the training and expertise to help you navigate the complicated and clustered nutrition information to help you achieve your health goals. If you want a bit of help putting something like this together, then please just drop me a comment below and we'll see what we can do. Our next section then on the website is this lead generator section. And we want to use this section if a potential customer isn't quite ready to work with you one to one, but they still have a problem that they need solved. So you can offer here a tool that will help them do that. And this could be in the form of a free PDF, an ebook, a short online course, or even an email series. The next thing we want to talk about will have a potential impact before the people even get a chance to read the words on your website. So the second pillar is about allowing someone to read the content and view the content on your website without getting an eye strain. So pillar two then is about having a professional looking layout and design to your website. But you don't need to be a designer in order to be able to accomplish this. So this pillar encompasses our images, our spacing and the colors used. Let's go and apply this to our page though. 
Going back up to our hero area then, we want to ensure that this section stretches the whole way across the screen, but also the full height of the viewport. In this way then, there isn't too much content there to take away from the message that you're trying to get across. And then the thing to remember for the rest of our page is we want the content in general to stretch across the page. However, our text wants to be that bit narrower as it's a lot easier to read. Stay tuned until the end because I'm going to show you how you can create a website like this with great spacing and mobile optimization right out of the box. Our next thing then we're going to talk about is our images. Going back to our hero area then, we want this image, like I said, to stretch the whole way across the screen and it needs to be crystal clear. If you need to, hire a professional photographer to take some shots of yourself or your office environment or your services or product, whatever it might be, to make sure you have large enough crystal clear professional looking images. Make sure all of your images are optimized for the web. That means you need to reduce the file size so that your web page will load nice and quick. There are tools online, something like kraken.io, but there are also plugins that you can get that will do this for you. And now you want to apply this principle the whole way throughout your homepage and your website. If you need to, take a look at some of the online stock photography websites where you can get some really professional images. Next thing we want to think about is our colors used. And I'm going to keep this really simple. Pick one color. If you have a logo already, pick a color from that. If you don't already have a logo, just pick a color that you like and that will go with your branding. Use that one color on select number of places throughout your website. And I'm gonna change the color theme for my website with just a few simple clicks. Let's move on to pillar three then. And this is arguably one of the most important things that you must include on your website. It can increase conversions dramatically. And all it is, is we want to have a clear call to action. Remember we talked about what our, the content of our website is for. We want someone to take a specific course of action. The action that you want them to take will depend on what your business is. Let's apply it to our page though. For our dietitian's website, our call to action is to book a free discovery call. So that is the one course of action we want website visitors to take. So we're going to have a number of buttons throughout the website that allow our website visitors to do just that. If you've applied these three pillars to your homepage, then you're going to have a better homepage than most small businesses out there. How do you actually make this website for yourself? Well, it's actually not that difficult. If you follow these simple steps, you can have your own website set up and ready to convert customers within just minutes. I would advise you to use wordpress.org, not .com. Then all you need to do is apply a theme called Astra Theme. It's totally free to use. Install again a free plugin called Starter Templates. And then all you need to do is apply, pick the template that you want and apply that to your website. And then go through and make the changes that we've talked about in this video. And best of all, most of this content is already gonna be optimized for mobile. If you wanna see me create a WordPress website similar to this, then watch this video next.